Hi everyone, welcome to Hedgehog Color. So today I want to show you how you can take one stamp set and transform it into loads of different things because I'm all about stretching supplies, trust me. I love to sit and play and I've now set aside time every single Sunday. I just sit and I play with maybe some new tools or some new stamp sets and I try to go live during that time and share some of it with you as well. So you can check out the channel for those. Be sure to have hit that subscribe and rung the bell so you know when I go live and when we release our daily videos. Anyway, back to today's video. So this stamp set is Watercolor Halftone. Greg and I showed it in our post-creativation review and one of the team actually did the class and this is the card they produced with it. So like a really soft watercolor effect. But I saw this stamp set and I saw something totally different, which is something I love about stamping because you can see it one way and I might see it totally different way. So I'm gonna share with you a load of things I've stamped out and I'm gonna show you some of the techniques I used to make them. Okay, so let's start here. So I kind of started with um, trying out different fades and adding in different colors and you can totally do this with this stamp set. So all we're gonna need, you want a variety of different colored inks, whatever you want to play with, some white cardstock, I've got some Nina here and your stamp. And then just sit and play. I mean, I'm gonna show you a couple of different ideas and variations, and then you can work out what you want to use in your own craft room. So I'm gonna pop this one down. Stick it on my sticky grid. And so what I started with was um, just a couple of different shades of grays from Ulta New. So I think we'll go with these. Okay, so I'm going to start in the middle and I literally just inked up the center of my stamp and you can't see it that well, but if you put a piece of white cardstock under your lid where your stamp is, you'll find it easier to see. It's not perfect, but it's definitely easier to see where you've added ink and things. Now I'm going in a circle and I'm adding my next shade and then I'm going in a circle and I'm adding my next shade. And the last thing I wanna do is take my darkest and really I'm just, can you see how I'm just like angling it and inking the edge? Now, the one thing about this technique is I'm gonna say it works better when you spritz it with water because so I'm gonna show you in a minute is how I did rainbows. Now, if I didn't spritz that rainbow, you can kind of see some harsh lines in between. Whereas when I spritz my rainbow, it all blends really nicely together. Um, and you do kind of get a different effect. So this is the same effect, but this one was spritzed with water, so it's more watercolory. And this one here is not spritzed, so you can see it's far more even. Um, but this stamp set in particular really lends well to just spritzing with water and doing this watercolor effect. And then you can lift it up and you have this gorgeous ombre um, effect. But what I was thinking, and I kind of wish I'd bought a second Misty, actually I'm gonna just do this with an um, acrylic block that I keep in my drawer, because we're gonna do lots with this stamp set and I know it's just in that perfect place, is you can take a um, sentiment, and I'm gonna go with this, let's see. I'm gonna go with your creativity amazes me. And you never know, you might be getting this as your birthday card if you're one of our Hedgehog Hollow members. Um, because we sent all our members a birthday card in their birthday month, that is one that we've made on the channel. So if you're not already a member and you want to receive one, there's lots of other benefits, but I think that's a super cool one. You can check out that join button that's below this video. But you could take, this just like this. And of course you could do it in any color, you could heat emboss it too. And you can add a sentiment in the middle because you've got that lovely kind of ombre in the center there. But isn't that just a beautiful card? So easy, you'd mount that up and off you go. So I love that. So that's one way to do it, it's kind of the ombre and then you've got the option of whether you do um, Spritzed or not spritzed, you can play around with which you prefer, or do both. Okay, so I'm gonna pop this underneath, and of course you then have the original option, which is the one, I think Jess might have done this class, um, and what she did was the same as I just showed you, she just used green on the outer pieces and pink on those inner pieces. Again, same thing, it doesn't look like it's been spritzed though, um, but 
you know, you can try out all of these different fun techniques. So just cleaning this off. And this here I was playing with just a solid black. So here you've got a solid black where I've just, this one is one I spritzed and this is one I just stamped out. So it also looks gorgeous just stamped out like that. But on this spritzed one, I had another idea of how you could customize it. So you could take your nicely spritzed and again, I'm just gonna wipe off my stamp. And I'm gonna grab myself out some clear mark or any glue ink that you like to use. And I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna stamp it through the middle because this kind of at the minute looks a bit bland, I think, just, you know, watercolored like that. But if you add this same on, and I've got some fine gold embossing powder here, a little Tupperware. I'm just gonna sprinkle some of that on. Take off the excess and give it a flick. And the reason I'm doing it on this one rather than the ones that I've been stamping is you want this one to be really dry because if there is any um, water or residue on here, this technique will not work. And so now you need to grab out your heat tool and I think mine is over here. And we're just gonna heat it. And then we're gonna see that gold really pop on top of that black. And I think, at least in my head, it gives it a really, really pretty effect. So again, you can take a solid, really dark color. You could maybe try a navy blue. Um, you could try all sorts of different colors. And now look, you can again mount this into a really pretty card and you've got that gold sentiment in the middle that really makes that dark pop. Um, it also, I think, make a really great sympathy card and they're really hard cards I find to make. So just another idea. So again, taking the um, dark, spritz it with water, stamp it out, it kind of merges all those cuddle colors together even and gives you a really fun effect. The same you could do here on the blue. So the same thing. This is it just stamped out, and then this is it watercolor. And I think you could stamp over either of these or use a bold word die to really decorate these and make them look great. So that's those. Now the other thing I found doing this is you can turn this into a layering stamp. So the first thing we want to do is take our baby pink or whichever is your lightest color that you want to work with. make sure it's well inked. This is why I like the white piece of cardstock because it really shows me if I've missed anything. And then we're gonna take our water bottle, light spritz, nothing major, stamp out, lift. It's gonna blot off the excess. It doesn't have to be too clean. Uh, quick heat dry. And then you want to choose a darker color. So for this one, I'm going from baby pink to magenta. And so I'm gonna take my magenta, ink up my stamp as normal, and this time we're not going to spritz. And we're gonna take this and stamp out over the top, and that baby pink that we had underneath fills in those open areas. So if I take one here, where you can see white underneath, you know, the lighter colors, that baby pink has filled that in and your dark pink has added like your layering stamp, which again, I think is a really cool idea and super, super easy as well. So you can turn this into a layering stamp. And then now I really want to show you, this is probably my favorite version of this, is how you can turn it into something really fun and funky. Because to me, when I saw this, it looked like a really classical stamp. And I thought, well, how can I make this a bit more peppy? And so I'm gonna show you. Now, there are lots of different ways to stamp rainbows. And if you've you tried out our Essentials in Paper Crafting class, I'm gonna link it down below as well. Plus it's gonna be on a President's Day sale. Um, so you'll want to check that out. Um, but what I'm gonna say is that uh, if you want different rainbow stamping techniques, go check out our Essentials in Paper Crafting class. Um, but this is some options you have. So I showed you this one already. So literally what I did here was I took each color, I stamped it, and then 
you know, it just kind of came out wishy-washy. The other thing was I didn't think about the green and the pink being next to each other and how they look a bit muddy. So my next thing was to try it with the watercolor idea. So I inked everything up and I inked it in a different order. So I went green to blue because I know that blue goes in green so it's not gonna go muddy. And then I went blue to pink because I know that that makes purple and then purple on the end because I knew that that would mix fine. So um, I just kind of thought about my order a bit more. I inked it all up all at once, which is what I'm gonna do in a second. I spritzed it and stamped and it looks great. And then this is what I'm gonna show you how to do because I think this looks super cool. Um, and this is the same color combo as this, but without the spritzing. So you can see how they come together. So definitely the order you do everything in makes a big, big difference. So I'm gonna show you a quick rainbow technique. So we're gonna take some pink, purple, blue and green. And then we also want a really dark purple. So I wanna show you how to do this, which kind of reminds me of like a retro pop effect. I think it looks really funky. I'm excited to share with you how I did it. So what I did was I took my colors and I'm gonna do the same color order just cause I happen to know it works. So we're gonna put purple on one end and I'm putting green on the other end and it does not have to be perfect. And then I'm putting pink next to my purple. And don't worry about contamination either. Um, ink is a suspended medium and unless you're doing like huge amounts, you're not really gonna contaminate your pads long-term um, at all. I mean, you can see this one's got some other colors on it, but it's still gonna stamp out blue. Okay, and then we're gonna do a light spritz and stamp. And that's just going to muddle all those colors together into a really nice set of blends. Look at that, isn't that a beautiful set of blends? And you could literally just leave that there and not do anything else. But what I discovered, which I loved, was taking a dark purple, I mean you could probably do like a really dark grey, a dark black, something else like that. And I thoroughly, like really thoroughly inked up my stamp like this. You see how it's getting really nice and solid. But then, because I just wanted it to be a bit more poppy, I took a piece of kitchen towel and I just like gently daubed over it. You see, I didn't rub or anything like that, just gently daubed. And then I stamped on top and I got this really fun effect on there. So that's how easy it is to do that. And then once it's dry, it does actually change. Particularly if you dry it between layers, this is what you're gonna come out with. You can play around with the different effects. So. There is one stamp and we've done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 different things with it and made it look completely different every time. So I love these kinds of videos and you saw how easy that was as well. Nothing complicated. So I hope you will try it out at home. Be sure to share your results with us. Tag us at the Hedgehog Hollow on social. And of course hit subscribe, ring the bell, give us a thumbs up and hit that join button. And of course, join me tomorrow for another tip trick tutorial or maybe something a little bit different. I'll see you then. Bye.